RL360 is an international life company offering savings and protection products around the globe. And ESG is high on our agenda. We've worked hard to understand attitudes to ESG across the areas in which we operate, with a view to providing credible options for advisors and plan owners. Our global viewpoint and our ongoing communication with advisors worldwide gives us a unique perspective on the growth of ESG globally. We've conducted a number of surveys with advisors worldwide in the last 18 months to understand both their ESG drivers and levels of client demand in order to provide insight into ESG in an international context. Whilst the growth of responsible investing and acceptance of ESG criteria continues at pace, different regions are moving at different speeds and face their own challenges. Europe, the leading region for ESG and sustainable issues currently, has implemented a number of key initiatives including financial disclosure regulations and a taxonomy of standardised terms and continues to show the way for other regions. However, without globally standardised reporting rules, greenwashing will always be a challenge. Misleading disclosures or products inevitably impact the overall credibility of ESG and muddy the waters of understanding. There are also a number of other, sometimes regional specific factors that influence the growth of responsible investing across the world. Global emerging markets, for example, have struggled to balance the needs of profitable growth to drive economic and social development and changing expectations around environmental and social impacts. Inconsistent governmental control and regulation is an important factor in many regions. And this is often coupled with poor governance standards and challenging ownership structures, which limit the ability for fund managers to exercise their shareholder rights. However, change is happening. Where government regulations are lagging behind, corporate pressure through international supply chains is gradually improving standards, and efforts to implement global sustainability standards are gathering pace. In our most recent survey, we were interested to learn whether there had been any change in investor attitudes over the last 18 months and whether COVID had played any part in the uptake in interest towards responsible investing. In the Middle East, a key market for RL360, the pervading view is that while change had been on the horizon for a while, COVID-19 has accelerated the process. The region's social consciousness has long been demonstrated by Sharia principles, which align well with the social aspects of ESG. However, their main challenge is their current reliance on fossil fuel production. However, change is afoot, with the GCC countries recently committing to a net zero carbon by 2050. Now, according to HSBC's survey of capital markets, issuers and investors, the Middle East is experiencing a change in attitude towards green infrastructure, social welfare and sustainable finance. 93% of issuers and 65% of investors cite the benefits of ESG. And social welfare has been brought into focus as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Solar power is deemed the new oil for the region because of year-round sunshine and lower financing costs. And this isn't just talk, we are now seeing a proliferation of solar power plants that have been created in the region and offer diversification away from the region's reliance on fossil fuels. In our own advisor survey, results show that 85% of respondents in the region are promoting ESG in some capacity, though only 15% believe that responsible investing is in the most important consideration for their clients. 46% of respondents still believe that the security of the investment is the main concern. Interestingly, when questioned on the percentage of new investments being made in responsible funds, nearly half answered between 10% and 30%, whilst a quarter believe the proportion is 30% and greater, and this is the highest across all regions surveyed. So how is that actually translating in investors' portfolios? Analysis of the proportion of new investment into our own regular and single premium products shows that, of customers with the residents of the UAE, only one-tenth of investment over the last year has gone into thematic ESG options in the associated fund range. So whilst progress is being made, and the survey results point to a strong future for responsible investing in the region, there is still much to do, and education on the subject matter is still very important in order to help investors understand that investing for good doesn't necessarily mean you have to sacrifice returns. The Far East has made good progress with adopting ESG-related financial disclosure regulations, with key legislative changes in Singapore, for example, where the Singapore Exchange introduced sustainability reporting on a comply or explain basis in 2016. Many Asian fund managers are signing up to the UN principles of responsible investing in an effort to demonstrate their commitment to ESG. 
Our survey results highlight that 92% of advisors are actively promoting ESG to their clients in some capacity. This is the highest proportion of all regions in our survey. However, in contrast, only 4% of advisors believe that investing responsibly is the most important consideration for their clients, which is far below the average. The main driver in the region continues to be expected investment returns, with nearly two-thirds of respondents selecting this option. Notably, whilst investment into our thematic ESG funds has been relatively low across the region, there are advisors that are clearly committed to promoting ESG. One advisor particularly has allocated 95% of their clients' money received during the last year to responsible investing funds. Latin America is a region rich in resources, but also an area with distinct ESG challenges. Deforestation, corruption and disparity of wealth key among them. ESG reporting is mainly on a voluntary basis. However, governments are looking to enhance reporting standards. For example, Brazil now requires disclosure of social and environmental issues in the annual reports of listed companies. However, even with these challenges, our survey highlights that demand is strong for ESG in the LATAM region. All advisors surveyed in the region stated that demand continues to grow for ESG funds, and one-fifth of Latin American respondents believe that investing responsibly is the main consideration of their clients. Whilst two-thirds of advisors surveyed are actively promoting ESG funds to their clients in some capacity, which is encouraging, when it came to tangible interest from their clients and how much they would invest in responsible funds, this gave a very different picture. Only one-tenth of advisors said that over 30% of new investment was being made into ESG funds, meaning their clients are still happy to invest in funds that are not specifically ESG focused. Maybe a small amount into ESG funds is sufficient to tick that responsible investment box for them. However, in contrast, a review of business received into RL360 regular and single premium products from the region over the last 12 months showed that three Latin American countries were in the top five for ESG investment, with certain advisory companies leading the way, with over 80% of investment allocated to ESG funds. So what do we take from these results? Well, the region clearly continues to be one of contrast, with advisor selection appearing to be a major element in investing responsibly for clients. This is just a glimpse across some of the regions that are important for our business. But the survey results clearly show that many advisors are actively engaging with clients on ESG matters and allocation to ESG funds in portfolios is rising accordingly, albeit at differing pace from one region to another. We therefore need to continue to support the growth of responsible investing by providing credible options for advisors and clients in conjunction with the asset management industry. So how do we support advisors and clients globally? We want our products to be the first choice for a responsible investor taking out an offshore savings and investment plan, regardless of where they are based. To that end, in 2020, we embarked on a responsible investment research program that culminated in the launch of a new sector containing ESG thematic funds in the RL360 defined range. The responsible investment sector is available to savings, investment and protection products and offers 15 funds across six broad themes. We sought to include funds from managers which we believe are credible in this space and enhanced our investment governance process to include ESG elements in order to combat the spectre of greenwashing. We added thematic funds that seek to combat climate change as well as funds promoting healthy living, gender equality and efficient use of resources and energy amongst others. We added the Morningstar sustainability rating and low carbon designation to our online fund centres. These are performance monitoring and analysis tools which help our plan owners and advisors understand how their overall portfolio or a potential portfolio rates for ESG factors. To support the sector launch, we have provided a wide range of educational material about ESG to help plan owners and their advisors. And in recent months, we hosted a range of Zoom ESG webinars for advisors in conjunction with fund managers, which were very well attended. This all took place in the global context of COVID, which only served to reinforce the importance of the actions we were taking and strengthen our commitment to supporting responsible investment. We are committed to continuing to support and promote responsible investing. Ultimately, we believe responsible investing and understanding ESG factors are an integral part of ensuring future financial well-being, as well as contributing to efforts to increase transparency, improve society, remove inequality and combat climate change. The research and survey data suggest that the move towards ESG is an inevitable one. 
it's not a question of if, but when. Regions may move at different speeds, but we expect over time that regulation will improve standards globally and promote increased understanding. Investors are becoming more aware and it's clear that some advisors are also ahead of the game. RL360 has put ESG front and centre and we will continue to support advisors globally in helping their clients achieve their responsible investing goals.